Hey guys, it's Savannah here, back again with another deck review. This deck right here is the Sultan Republic deck from Illusionist, so let's get right on into the review. If you take a look at the tuck box itself, you'll see how shiny this deck really is. It has a lot of foil and really nice embossing on the entire tuck box. Um, on the front, it has a lot of nice like adornment and like borders around it, and then it says Sultan Republic, and then it says Casino Quality. And then at the bottom it says High Quality Playing Cards Designed in Canada, and it has nice foil and embossing on the front. On the side it says Sultan Republic, um, with some nice borders and then uh, crowns on each side, and the other side says the United States Playing Card Company, um, in that same style as the other side. The bottom has the Illusionist logo and a Sultan Republic logo. On the top, it's like some borders and then some nice foil, and then it has a Sultan Republic seal, which is pretty cool. And then the inside uh, just continues with uh, some of that foil, and the inside of the deck is actually the same color as the outside. Um, and there's something pretty cool about the inside that I will talk about in just a second. But uh, here's a glimpse of the back design. Um, very cool, very intricate. Um, this deck box, the tuck box itself, is very awesome. It very much reminds me of something Theory 11 would make. Um, it's a really stunning tuck box. I think it looks really great. All right, so inside of the deck right here, it says join the Sultan Republic. And I know you can't see down um, into like this part of the box, but there's actually like lettering and words on the inside that uh, gave clues to actually where you can find the next deck they released, which is the Sultan Republic Treasury deck, which is basically the same exact deck as this one, it just has like an olden coloring to it, and the actual deck box isn't quite as stunning as this metallic one right here. So next we're going to take a look at the back design. Um, I think this back design is very cool. The box had a really high standard um, for the cards inside of it, and this back design is definitely very cool. Um, you see that it has like elements right here, like there's a mountain, and then there's a feather, and then there's like a snowflake all inside that circle. It is a nice like patterned border around the sides, and I think it looks very cool. Um, you can see those leafy uh, feather on the actual front of the box, and you'll see that image throughout the entire deck as we get more into it, but I think overall this back design looks pretty cool and it goes well with the tuck box. So next we're going to check out the two jokers. Um, both jokers are exactly the same, and as you can tell the lettering is pretty super small in these. Um, it says uh, joker on both sides right here, and then it kind of has like a shield or a crest. Um, very much a lot of patterning similar to the front of the tuck box and the back of the cards. You have that mountain and that snowflake and like the crown elements in the uh, shield itself, and then it says Joker at the bottom, and then it says the uh, US Playing Card Company. Really small right down there, and both Jokers are exactly the same. Next we have an Illusionist promo card right here, and a double backer. And this Illusionist promo card also probably gave some clues into where the Sultan Republic treasury deck was. Next we're going to check out the Ace of Spades. This Ace of Spades is pretty cool. Um, it's that uh, leafy feather element into the shape of a spade right there. As it says Sultan Republic and the US playing card company, really small down at the bottom like the Jokers. Um, you can see that that little like leafy pattern is actually on the front of the tuck box as well. And it looks very cool and I really do like it. It goes very well with the overall back design tuck box itself and I think it looks very nice. Next we're going to check out the King, the Queen, and the Jack of Spades. These are standard looking court cards with a little bit of a color change. However, the actual pips, um, the font of the pips, and on the indexes themselves, there's actually like a pattern in them. And it might be a little too dark to tell, but it's just like a little pattern in them. The number cards also have that patterning, and when we look at the uh, actual lighter cards, you're able to see that pattern more, but the core cards have that same patterning, and on the darker cards, it's that little mountain shape. Very cool, very 100% custom. This deck is entirely custom. Um, I really do like it, and I think it really fits well. As we take a look at the rest of the deck, you will notice that everything, all the index, the pips, everything else is custom as well. I really do quite like this deck. I think it is something very unique. When this deck came out, it was one of the more custom decks that uh, Illusionist actually came out with. Um, it handles very well, has a great stock and finish on it. Um, these cards just are really beautiful cards, and they hold up very well over time, and 
They just, they handle super well. They feel great in your hands. And I think this is overall a really solid deck um, design wise and handling wise. So this overall deck I would have to give a five out of five. The stock of this deck is really nice. It's kind of that happy median. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It works well with the finish. It doesn't degrade super easily over uh, time and it holds up really well. And overall, I really do like this deck. I think it is a very solid deck of cards, as I said before. So the stock of this deck, I would have to give a 5 out of 5. I think the look of this deck is very nice. Um, I think the deck box itself um, gave a lot of uh, really nice expectations for the inside of the cards and the actual uh, deck itself. I think it's something very neat, very unique. This is just really something nice that Illusionist has put out um, that's 100% uh, custom and has really cool elements within it. So the look of this deck I would have to give a 4.5 out of 5. The handling and feel of this deck is really great. Um, it handles very well over time. It doesn't degrade super easily. The stock and the finish work really well together and overall a very solid handling deck of cards. Um, it works well with the stock, the finish, they work together very well and it just does not degrade super easily and I really do like that about it. So the handling and feel of this deck I would have to give a 5 out of 5. So thank you guys so much for watching my Sultan Republic deck review from Illusionist. If you guys enjoyed this video definitely make sure to leave a like right down there. It lets me know you are enjoying my videos that I put out. Also if you have any comments, questions, concerns about this deck right here definitely leave that in the comments section below. Also, be sure to subscribe to be notified when my next deck review, unboxing, or other video is live. That's your only way to be notified, and it'll send it right to your subscription box. All my social media links are down below, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Definitely check that out. I love each and every single one of you guys watching this video right here, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video again, and stay tuned for my next deck review, unboxing, or other video coming your way real soon.